Okay, so I plan to make an octopus soap and I got this bright idea in my head that, oh, I would make octopus legs to embed on top. Um, yeah, not my brightest idea. I do not hand mold soap for a reason because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> um, like, it's just everyone has talents and this, oh look, I just pulled one off, is not one of mine. So I am in the process of making 16 octopus legs because I'm making a five pound batch and that is all there will be, are 16, because I don't think I will make these again. <laughs> I know, I should never say never. So you can see I have three kind of done and then a bunch where the legs are prepped. Um, I've rolled them out and twisted them, which I think I have a system for this now, so it's not too bad. And then making all these little balls for the tentacles. Um, yeah, tedious, not so much fun. <laughs> um, but I, I'm almost done prepping the legs. There's not nearly enough little balls there I'm gonna have to make more but I figured I would might as well just record how I make these so I kind of just condition it I roll out the purple so that it's kind of creating a cone shape and then I will push it down and then roll it out a little bit more then I put it down I realize it's got to go in the bar and I need it to be one inch wide and not wider which those I was having issues with so I put it down so I know it's just going to go in that way and then I basically just twist it straight um, so that will fit on top of a bar of soap I hope <laughs> that these all will go in well and that they will work. Um, oh my word, so much work to make these. I mean, I've been putting these off and putting these off and now this is the last soap I need to make and I still didn't have the legs, so I'm making the legs before I can go make the soap. That's how much I wanted to make these. Um, but yeah, so just cone shape, set it down so it's flat, twist it, Sometimes I just have to smooth out parts will kind of break a little bit or tear. So I just smooth it back out. Two more legs and then I have to put a million of these on. I have to make a million more. Ugh. Um, let's hope this turns out cute. Let's really hope this turns out cute because it's a whole lot of work. finish up this one and then I'll start putting the balls on. So I don't know if there's an easier way to make octopus legs. I did a little bit of a search to see, mostly I was searching clay techniques to see if there were any helpful hints. Um, I didn't really find anything out there. So I basically just kind of played around and said okay how can I get this shape how can I twist it and how can I keep it so that it is will fit on top of a bar? So anyways, pain in the backside, that's what this is. Just kind of paint it under, just taking a little bit of water, putting it on. I start with a smaller ball at the end, then I have this nifty little tool I don't know if you can see it just has a round edge and I just kind of gently push in place another push in I try to do it centered but yeah I don't 
I've seen people who've done like two layers of uh, two tones for these. Um, this is one just too small and two I don't have the patience uh, <laughs> to do multiple colors. I'm like this is just gonna it is what it is and Okay. Probably put some of these. Please excuse the train in the background. Some of these I find all of my tentacles are on the bottom and you don't see, and then some are. That was the main issue with doing it this way. Um Maybe I should have put more along like the side here. Just a couple. I don't know. I need to put more water on. It's just the more I put of these, the more I actually have to then make because I need 16 legs. So. Four down. Gosh. 12 more to do. So since I do want it to be seen and not completely hidden, I think I'm going to put them along the top this time. So, um, push it in. These are not perfect. But one, I think you understand it's an octopus leg. So at least that's, you know, somewhat obvious. And two, I do think they're cute, even though they're a pain to make. So <laughs> I'm like, I think it will be worth it in the end. We'll see. Now I'm thinking that the inside of my soap is just going to be too plain. I was just going to do water with the the uh, octopus in bed. But now I'm like, hmm, should I do something more? I don't know. I needed some more water on there. So, okay, there you have it. <laughs> so I need to go finish the rest of those. I'm not going to record it, but... I'll be back to make the actual um, soap. So stay tuned. Okay, so <laughs> I wanted this to be more um, blue purple versus purple blue. It is, uh, it's definitely purple, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, there's no change in it now. I thought about pouring an ocean bottom for this and ultimately I decided that I was just going to do kind of the whole, make it look like the whole ocean. Um, this ocean's going to be purple. It's okay. It's fine. It doesn't have to be realistic, realistic. Heck, I'm doing a purple octopus, so. Um, which is partly inspired by Ursula, yes. Who I think is <laughs> one of the more fun and entertaining villains. Um, hopefully the octopus will stand out. <laughs> okay. So. Push this down. That down. I have, you saw one piece is um, black because I ran out of purple. So you do what you got to do and <laughs> in this case I had to do um, one section that was black. This is going to be interesting to you can see there are some air bubbles in there 
I have a variety of purple glitter. So this is just some fine purple, which I can't put these in those jars because they have big pieces and they don't know. Um, they won't come out. So. I can open this. Think that's enough glitter? <laughs> Alright, so now I have to put these legs in and hope that I get them all nice and centered on each bar. Um, Okay, so these legs were a pain to make, but right now I am loving how the top of this soap is draining out. <laughs> Hopefully the octopus inside doesn't get lost because I realize I have probably too much purple in there, but oh well, I think the top will be cute. See? Top makes it worth all the effort it, of putting the legs together, right? I hope. This is the one that was odd shaped. Oh, I think I need to. I am absolutely in love with this bar. Oh my, or this loaf, I should say, the outside. I have no idea, sorry, I need to get it off this sheet, what the inside is going to be like because I meant to do a blue purple and obviously if you watched the video I had a purple blue color swirl um so yeah i'm not sure um exactly how the color is going to turn out but and i'm mostly worried about the purple because there is a um purple embed and i don't want the embed to get lost that's that's what my biggest worry is so hopefully this still looks really cute when i cut the inside i have pulled out my single cutter because i don't want to cut through the the legs i want to make sure i get one per bar but I also need to make sure that I'm cutting this at one inch bars. That's the challenge here. So. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's fine. It's definitely purple, but it actually moves all around the purple octopus. 
he's a little lower she I should say because this is kind of Ursula um, then I wanted but look at that oh my gosh look at all that glitter it's cute okay let's cut 15 more bars now okay having to cut the bars myself the right width so that they're all one inch <laughs> it shifted over a little but that's okay I'll take it it stands out you can see that there's an octopus in there so and look at those legs <laughs> it's it's a win it's cute my gosh, I love the top of the soap. I can't get enough of it. One inch, it's just shy. I definitely like my multi bar cutter. It is much quicker, but I really didn't want to cut through any legs, so. Ugh, yeah, it definitely shifted off to the side, but that's okay. It's swimming in the water. Oh, look at that. It's fun. There you have it, my octopus. I like it so much I might be tempted to make legs again in the future. After swearing I wasn't going to.